look, we're not stuck. You know, the terrorists may have killed our husbands on September 11th, but the whole idea that we're not going to stay there. And we are back. Afghanistan was a training ground for 9-11 terrorists, so it seems incredible that two American women whose husband died on that day turned their pain into determination to change lives halfway around the world. They founded an organization called Beyond the 11th to help Afghan war widows. We were just overcome by the difference between what it was we were receiving after our tragedy and what the widows in Afghanistan have or don't have. And if we can raise money and awareness for the plight of those widows, then it, every step of the way will be worth it. As the story of September 11th began to unfold and we found out that the terrorists had all been trained in Afghanistan and, you know, the United States was talking about preparing to invade Afghanistan. So it was just so much in the news about Afghanistan and we had gone from like nothing about Afghanistan to Afghanistan. Welcome. Hi, thanks for so much for having me. Oh, thanks for being here. Um, I'm wondering, you tell the story of, of two 9-11 widows. I'm wondering, how did you meet these women, Patty and Susan, and what made you want to make the film that you made? I'm involved in some immigration and refugee work in the Boston area, and it was really through that that I became aware of what they were doing. Um, I had traveled to Afghanistan right after um, September 11th happened in December of 2001 and early 2002. At the time, I was um, so struck by the fact that there was such a, an immediate shutting down of our borders, and which I really, you know, we saw immediately in the, in the immigration and refugee um, community in the Boston area and really all over the United States. And I wanted to be able to tell a story about Afghanistan and what was happening, what was this relationship between America and Afghanistan in the past, in the present, and what might it become. Um, that documentary never came to fruition, and little, little did I know at the time that, you know, here I was traipsing off to Afghanistan, not knowing what the story would be. Uh, meanwhile, there were these two women, really in my own backyard, who were beginning to see beyond our own borders, um, beyond themselves, and when I learned about it, um, as the title says, I, I felt beyond belief and it was a story that I really wanted to be able to share. 